Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a viewer's question today and it's from Summer. Summer has said, I've noticed there's a lot of consistency amongst most Law of Attraction teachers, but one major discrepancy I noticed was between Neville and Abraham Hicks. Since you just uploaded Neville Nugget 49 about taking a feeling into sleep, I want to ask you this and was hoping you could make a video on it. Neville explains that you have to fall asleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, as you mentioned, sleeping, and it's like watering a seed. But Abraham Hicks says that during sleep, all momentum subsides. So when you sleep, you hit the reset button, so to speak. I just want to know your thoughts on this since it's the most outstanding difference I've noticed between Neville and Abraham. I love both Neville and Abraham and I always try to fall asleep in the wish fulfilled, but I would love to know how you may reconcile these two different teachings. Good question, Summer, and I don't think it's the easiest of answers, but I'll try and explain it as simply as I can. So, yes, Neville says you imagine something, you call up the feeling of having it, and then you go into sleep. And I said it's like watering a seed because it's like a little incubator. It's an incubation tank, I would say, if you're looking at it from Neville's point of view. Abraham Hicks says as soon as you go into sleep all momentum subsides now and it's like that you hit the reset button momentum as in all the negative emotion all the resistance all the stuff you've got going on it stops because you go from being consciously awake to asleep so you're not conscious anymore okay so the momentum stops because you crash out, literally. Your mind switches off, okay? So you get up in the morning and you can rake up feeling refreshed, but often what happens is you pick it back up. The thing you were worried about, the thing that's been bothering you, the debts you have, the specific person not contacting you, that you're overweight, that you hate your job and you feel trapped that comes back to you in the morning. So it subsides through the night. Sometimes, as we know, it doesn't because there are times where something's bothering you and you take it to bed and you can't sleep and you have a very restless sleep or like in the case of watching crime shows, you watch crime shows, you see something a bit creepy, weird, gory and not very, you know, pleasant, violence. And you go to bed and then you have nightmares. So it doesn't always fully subside. It can if you're able to get to sleep, I would say, Summer. That's probably the best way to say it. If you can actually get to sleep and that thing doesn't disturb you. Those examples or the crime shows. Okay. So in the case of Neville, the feeling of the wish fulfilled. You go in, you imagine it and you take it into sleep. And if it's a positive thing, you have put it in a little incubator okay it's like when you you know you see those little things that that incubate like a seed and then the seed starts to sprout and the little incubator is around it so that the seed can really grow until it gets strong enough and then that can come out of the incubator okay so it's like that so they're slightly different but it's like Abraham Hicks goes around the circle one way and Neville goes around the circle the other way, okay? Momentum subsides because you're actually asleep if you can get to sleep and if you can really let go of whatever's bothering you, then yes, momentum subsides. If you have one of those restless sleeps and something's really bugging you and you keep having a broken sleep because the emotion of it's waking you up, then... You know, you haven't really been able to be successful in letting the momentum sub subside because you haven't been able to hit a deep sleep. So therefore, you haven't really hit the reset button. OK, so with Neville, it is a watering. I love that watering of the seed because it shows you that what you plant. It, it's like, let me say it like this. It's like the God the bigger God, the universe source takes it from you while you're sleeping and takes care of it for you. 
Okay, that would be the best way I can say it in simple words. It's like you, did, you have done your bit prior to sleep and you have then handed it over and let it go for the night. So that's kind of in line with hitting the reset button because when you fall asleep and as Abraham Hicks says, the momentum subsides, again, you have let go because you've dropped into the sleeping phase. Okay, so I hope that's made it a bit clearer. It's not the easiest of things to explain. And I do see what you're saying, Summer, about the differences, but it's just, they're kind of just going around the circle in a different way and explaining it differently. But basically, when you go to sleep, you've taken your hands off. One is incubating. The other one, you know, as Abraham says, is you're hitting the reset button. Basically, you're both are in a, in a state of letting go and, and just letting it be, allowing. Sleep is a state of allowing. So whether you do it the Neville way or the Abraham Hicks way, whichever way makes more sense to you, I hope that's explained it a little bit and that it's kind of, you can see that it's two halves of a nut, so to speak. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lots of love. And Summer, thank you for your question. I will put Neville Nugget number 49 down below, the one you referred to for those that want to have a little bit of a look at that. Lots of love, everyone.